Hey everyone, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to show everybody that that mid-2010 MacBook Pro does actually, in fact, support 16 gigs of RAM. So in front of me here is a 2010 model. It's got the NVIDIA 320M discrete graphics as well as the Intel uh, graphic accelerator. And it's a Core 2 Duo. So without further ado, let me lower the brightness a little bit so you can see the screen better. Sorry about the shaky camera, I'm holding it with my hand. So let's see, about this Mac, it is in fact a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. And as you can see, it's got 16 gigs of RAM. Now it's running Mountain Lion 10.8.2. And just for more info, Mountain Lion gives you this nice screen where you can see all your specs. So as you can see, I wasn't kidding, it is a mid 2010. Uh, now, according to Apple's specifications, this computer only supports a maximum of 8 gigs of RAM. And since upgrades are so cheap these days, there's no reason not to get 16 gigs. Uh, in fact, if you're a power user like me, and you like to boot into Windows once in a while and play games, uh, this is definitely a good upgrade for you, because it will speed the computer up quite a bit. So, and just to show you how fast the computer reacts, let's say Firefox iTunes, uh, let's open up Photoshop CS3, and we know CS3 doesn't load very fast, so yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Now, um, the RAM does give it a significant boost, however, this computer also has one of these, which is a Seagate Momentus uh, XT hard drive, and it's a hybrid drive. It's got 8 gigabytes of SSD and it's got 750 gigs of pure storage which is at 7200 RPM and it's got a 32 meg cache which means it can load information really quickly and it's got an internal management system that uh, basically pu puts your most uh, used data directly onto the SSD so it's able to be accessed more quickly uh, and you can see the specs here sort of so, you know, this is a uh, SATA 3, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if it tells what the SSD partition is in here, but it doesn't. But it is 8 gigs, believe me. Well worth the 100, I think, I believe it's $150 that this costs now. Uh, I bought it for about 170 well worth the price. It will definitely boost your system tremendously. Um, and I also wanted to show you guys this. Now, this is eBay RAM that I bought. It's also a 16 gig kit. You can sort of see. Do not buy the $60 eBay RAM. Uh, this RAM meets all the specs of the MacBook Pro and it doesn't work properly. If you put one of these sticks in, which is, they're both 8 gigabyte DIMMs with one of the original, uh, I believe I have them in here, one of the original 2 gigabyte DIMMs that came with a computer, the computer will boot into 10 gigs, no problem, but it will be slower because it won't have dual channel. If you put it in with one of the 4 gigabyte DIMMs that I have over here, this is the 8 gig upgrade that I had in the computer before, again, it'll boot. But if you put both of these into the computer by themselves, uh, sorry, with each other, the computer will not boot. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself to OWC, Other World Computing. Uh, they sell a kit specifically for the mid-2010 MacBook Pro. And I believe this kit will work on the Mac Mini with the NVIDIA 320M uh, discrete graphics as well. It's only $100 right there. I only paid $100 plus shipping, which was like 2 bucks. Well worth the price. Yeah, it's $40 more than this, but you know what? At least you won't be stuck with this. And by the way, this works perfectly fine in my Acer. It doesn't work in my MacBook Pro. So... I don't know if I'm going to put this in the Acer. I'm trying to get rid of it, and I can't. My loss, I guess, right? So, to end the discussion once and for all, uh, 16 gigs of RAM does work in the 2010, regardless of what Apple says. It runs perfectly fine both in Windows and Mac OS. So for all you 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro users from with the 2010 NVIDIA graphic model, you can upgrade to 16 gigs. Even if you have a 2.6 gigahertz Core 2 Dual, it should work just fine. And Mac Mini users, I believe this upgrade should work perfectly fine for you as well. Thanks for watching and happy computing. Bye-bye.